Oh, that's inspiring. Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing every NES game in order of release. And if this is your first time here, please like, subscribe, and click on the notify bell thing. Uh, we have four games today. We have WWF King of the Ring. We have Mickey's Adventure in Numberland. Uh, we have Zoda's Revenge, Star Tropic 2, and The Jungle Book. And I also have a Patreon, so check that out if you haven't. Our first game is WWF, King of the Ring by LJN. Yay, it's the same picture of Hulk Hogan they used on all the games. Lex Luger, Luther, whatever his name is. And Razor Ramon versus that guy, back in the box. It's the event everyone's talking about. No one's talking about the King of the Ring. And now it's time to prove you're the best. It's brutal. No timeout. Elimination terminate for, terminate, ugh, tournament for the Wrestling Crown. All new King of the Ring tournament. Ten of the hottest superstars. Create your own wrestler with customized strength, speed, and more. Really one-on-one -on -one tag team bets. You got the guts? Take the challenge. You got the skill? Take the crown. Do you have what it takes to become King of the Ring? I don't. Let's see who we get. Macho Man Randy Savage. Bam Bam Bigelow. Hulk Hogan. The Narcissist Lex Luger. Brett the Hitman Hart, Mr. Perfect, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Yokozuna, and Razor Ramon. And let's play the game. Oh, that's inspiring. <laughs> that one on one, easy. We got Brett the Hitman Hart, and it doesn't look anything like him. The Narcissist looks. Shawn Michaels. Mr. Perfect, Razor Ramon. I just wanted to hear the music. Hulk Hogan. What crappy versions of these songs? Yeah. You, let's be me. You. Uh, someone's like cutting down a tree outside. Something. We get it. We got a chainsaw. Azu. As. Uh, speed? Oh, he's very fast. And strong. I don't get to change his height or anything. That's me! Look at me! I don't need to get the customized moveset. Or pick a portrait for him or anything like that. It's just like, nope, we have one generic character. You get to dame him. That's about it. I've played some shitty wrestling games in my time. And I'm doing so right now. I'm outside the ring! Now I'm back in the ring! I'm kicking! Yay! Things are... Oh, look at that! Boom! 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 I don't know what kind of thing just happened there. Uh, ooh, what? Okay. It's that kind of wrestling show, huh? Button mashers. I can't even like run to the ropes or anything. Yeah. Okay. I've seen enough. Graphics. Not so good. I've seen better ones earlier in the Nintendo's lifespan. So we're gonna give those a four. Sound. Uh two and a half. Music. It was kinda shitty versions. Two. Story. Zero. Controls. Uh three and a half. Funness. Two. Hold my attention. A one. And overall, it's going to get a three. That was WWF King of the Ring. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Mickey's Adventure in Numberland. And the box art looks like this. It's Mickey Mouse. Then he's got a six, maybe a nine. Nice. And a bunch of numbers in the background and back of the box. Oh no, cried Donald. 
Oh, I'm not going to do Donald Duck. Donald the Sheriff. Pete's done it again. He stole their numbers from 1 up to 10. Search the whole city, every street, every house. Look high and low and call Mickey Mouse. You can count on me, declared Mickey. Don't worry, I'll find all your numbers. I'll foil Pete's plot. I'm set for adventure. I'm hot on the trail with my friends to help guide me. There's no way I can fail. Mm-hmm. Immensely entertaining, Mickey Mouse's dumb entry in Numberland helps improve early number identification counting skills and invites children to join Mickey in his quest to locate and return Numberland stolen numbers. The game features five magic and world and fun fantasy each with two levels and a seemingly endless supply of animated surprises. Mickey talks. Great. Ooh, animation. Goofy looking Donald, or Donald looking Goofy. Ah, oh, fooey, Pete's made it off with all the number marks. Don't worry, Donald! I'll get him back for you! That is great. Number City. Number Factory. Space Center. Number Museum. Like the magic number seven. Did I, did I win? I, I didn't get the star. Oh boy! <coughs> Excuse me. Successfully click. That's the number three. No, bad, Mickey, bad. Did you already get the seven? Oh, I have to find the exit. Okay. Four. One. Five. That's great. Is it though? What? What the hell is this? Ten. Uh. Twelve. Eleven. Oops. What? Ten. 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 Oops. What am I supposed to be doing? I have no idea. Uh. Oh, I just put the numbers in order. I'm an idiot. Okay. Ten. God, I'm a child. I was trying to do math. Like, Twelve. how do I make them equal 789? I'm a tool. Let's go to the Space Center. Five. Collect the five! No gravity. I already got the five. My life is a joke! That's a two. Don't get the two. Nope. Mickey is not happy with you. I don't want your th three. I want to go over the three. There we go. I did it. Yay. Why am I still playing this? Five! Five! Graphics. Five! No. Graphics. Three! Uh, sound. Two! Music. Two! Story. Uh, zero. Controls. A six. Funness. A one. It doesn't hold my attention. Nope, because I'm not a child, and overall, it's going to get a two. Fine little game for little kids. Let's see what's next. Our next game today is Zoda's Revenge Star Tropics 2. And Mike is ready for another adventure. I'm not. And it's a pretty cool box art, though. Back of the box. Stop Zoda's revenge and break the code. Intrepid adventurer Mike Jones, just back from the South Pacific, is off on a new journey through time and space. Mike's mission to save seven mystic t-trads 
Tetrids, while he faces the Avengers of his foiled foe, the evil Zoda. And now, his three alien clones are hot on his trail through time, unfold nine new chapters of adventures, or in decipher codes, solve mysteries, battle dragons with the heroes of days gone by. Mike won't stop until the Tetrids are found and the Zodas are history. Wind your way through more than a dozen action-packed stages in eight settings, save your progress, and continue with battery-backed memory! Okay. Register your name. Of course. Chapter One. Uh, Mike, how you been? That's good. I'm back in Seattle. Do you remember my uncle? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Dr. J, the tropical archaeologist. Now it's in Seattle. Visit the code and the rest of the cipher from the tropics. He spent all his time reading that crazy trying to write the code. Mike, can you hear me? Mike, Mike, can you hear me? Well, Mike, Mike, where, where are you? No answer from Mike. Mike, pick up the phone. Just kidding. I'm using telepathy. Telepathy? Wow, that's too cool. Hey, Mike, remember if I blah, blah, blah. They spoke to me in dream. Was I a cat I saw? Was it a rat I saw? I wonder what it means. I can't talk anymore. That's all for now, Mike. Bye. You would space bubble telepathic girl. He's very busy. Very, very busy. Tough, tough, tough. Very tough. The cipher is tough, 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 tough. He's trying to solve the Zodiac crimes. You shout, Dr. J, Uncle Steve, oh Mike, it's you, what are you doing here? You tell the story, Mike, blah, blah, he'll grab blah, the said, blah, cat, blah, exactly my, my feelings, too. Uh, was it a cat I saw, was it a rat I saw? Was I tack a T-saw? Was I tar a T-saw? Get it? Uh, no. Sure, I get it. Papa, papa, oh, mow, papa, papa, mow, wow. Stop, stop singing those songs. Refrain from turning the power off. You slip to another time in space. Well, that was that was a fun chapter. Where am I? It's like being in a sci-fi movie. It's a little cold for you to be out here without a shirt, sir. You don't think it's weird that I'm obviously from the future and. Where's my yo-yo? They have buttholes. <laughs> I already fell in another hole. Damn it. Oh, I lost my rocks? I mean, that kind of game, is it? Perspective! Yeah, I know. Bite me. Oh, goodness. I keep falling stupid holes in the stupid ground. Stupid. 
He already did this one. Come here. Come here, whatever you are. As an angel now. Well, yeah. Okay. Graphics are pretty decent. I'll give those a six. Uh, sound a five. Music a six. Story a six and a half. Controls a five and a half. Funness a six. Does it hold my attention? Yes, I'll probably play more of that. And overall, it's going to get a six and a half. That was Zoda's Revenge Star Tropic 2. Let's see what's next. Our final game today is The Jungle Book. And the box art looks like The Jungle Book. And the back of the box is too blurry to read. So let's play the game. Okay, licensed by Nintendo from Virgin Software. Okay. I am ready. Got kind of greenish skin. It's playing the bare necessities. Good animation. Till I die. How do I get up there? See a vine. Collect things. Come on. Run and jump. Ha. I'm dead. It's just the Bare necessities. Let's go back up here. Cause I'm magic. Good animation, so on the character sprites. I stepped on him and he turned into a banana. That's just like real life jungles. No. Oh. That was certain death. Going up hills, struggle. Missed it. I don't care. Graphics. Uh, he looks a little sickly, but the animations are really good, so I'm going to give it a 7. Uh, sound, a 4. Music, uh, we'll give that a 6. And story, a 1. Controls, they're pretty fluid. Give those a 6. Funness, a 4. Does it hold my attention? A 4. And overall, it's going to get a 6. That was The Jungle Book. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.